Good afternoon, ECAB families. We're here again in my humbly abode. Today we're doing science from our favorite science book. It's called Big Science for Little People. It's 52 activities to help you and your child discover the wonders of science by Lynn Purnell. A little bit ago, we had the pleasure as teachers to go to uh, training Oh, with this woman, and she was very interesting. And so this is one of her science experiments from the book. Uh, we are going to be making cornstarch quicksand. Uh, so my fellow ECAP teachers will probably recognize it. Uh, we do use it in class. Um, it's good for fine motor uh, development for your hand to make it nice and strong, which helps a kid get ready for writing and uh, kindergarten and such. Uh, but this is something that you can actually do at home. You just need some cornstarch and water and a bowl to put it in. Um, in the book it says to add an entire box, and, but you know I'm going to divide it between the three so they won't get as much, but it'll still work. And then you just mix it with about one to two cups of water. You don't want to add too much, but not too little. It's kind of more of a, yeah, as needed. So I'm just going to pour some in Michael's bowl, oh. a little bit in Donald's bowl. Take sugar. <laughs> yeah. And it feels so nice. Oh, yeah, go ahead and feel and tell me what you think. It feels like, like snow. Oh, now my hands are yeah. It's like a flower. <laughs> kind of yeah. like flower? It feels like flower, but hard. Oh, I'm making What do you think it's going to feel like after we add water to it? Quicksand. Like quicksand. But Ubek is what I think. Like what? I mean, no cornstarch. Oh, you think it's going to feel like cornstarch? Yeah. Uh, the only one here who has actually played around with cornstarch and water mix is Donald here because he was in ECAT last year in Miss Jill's class and she made it there. So we're going to start adding our water a little bit at a time. We have spoons? You just mix it with your hands. This is actually for your Woo! hand muscle development. <laughs> Ew. So, Do you guys want a little water color? Oh, it's already mixing yeah. on my hands. Yeah, we could add uh, one thing that is optional is adding. Uh, food Honestly. dye makes it colorful. You might want to roll up your sleeves. It will. No, yeah. Well, it's too late for that. <laughs> Do you think I can help you with? There you go. Make your other hand. Honestly, oh. this looks like. Uh, there you place. go. This is so weird. Yeah. This is. It's like you look like you need a little more water. Add some more. Can I have a little bit more. We can add some more. Actually, we have about the right amount. So, what do you notice about it so far? It's getting like hard already. It's really hard, actually. It's getting into liquid. Yeah. Oh, God. I like Wash my hands. That didn't work. I, I'll, ah. I'll add the food coloring. Can I? Can I? Can oh, I mom, 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 mom. Stop towel adding now. For a napkin. All right. So, Michael, you want? <laughs> no, you just stick your hands in there. It's messy. Uh, my hands are really good. Donald, here, show up to the camera. It's Make your slime. Just kind of pull it up, and then it turns back into a liquid form. So when you have it in your hand, you're squishing it, it's solid. <sighs> but when you let your hands go... Oh, whoa, that's actually kind of cool. It turns liquidy. But, but when Michael, you put you your want hand... Glue? Sure. When you guys put uh, it in slowly, it just... Uh, oh, I want you to get stuck. <laughs> okay, it's stuck. Oh, God. Oh. Donald, what color would you like? We got blue... Red, yellow, green. I know my hands are going to be blue. Um, <laughs> Gosh, darn it. green. I'm not winning. So, Dad, you want a handshake, right? I'm good. Blue and green. <laughs> I want to mix them. Blue oh, let's just do green. Okay. Then we'll know it's yours. That's enough. Okay. Mix it up. Oh, what color would you like? Uh, red. All right. Oh, I'm trying to get up to like every piece in it. Oh, that's looking really nice. Oh. The thing about this too is that you can cover it with a little bit of plastic. Uh, but the other thing is like tomorrow it'll probably be dried out. You don't have to throw it away. You can actually reactivate it by just adding water to it again. And you'll have, this is an endless fun for them just to play with, experiment with. You can see William just kind of picking up. It's like solid picks up and it mom, turns into quicksand. Mom, I think I need more cornstarch. No, we don't have more, but we, you know, by tomorrow, <laughs> it'll work. Be um, 
less water again. So can, can any of you like grab chunks of it and like pull it up and like let it ball. stretch down? There you go. No, I tried to make a ball and it actually <laughs> won't. Yeah. It's like a solid. Um, I need a so you can see. Please. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what I'm reading from the book about what you're seeing is that when you stir slowly, it a mix the mixture acts like a liquid, but when you manhandle it, it acts like a solid. Why? Technically, this is called a non-Newtonian fluid because it just doesn't act like other fluids. The cornstarch, which is a solid, is suspended in the water, which is a liquid. The cornstarch molecules slide past each other easily when the stirring is slow, but stir too fast or put too much pressure on the mixture, and the molecules line up and it won't slide past each other anymore, and they act like a solid. In nature, or at least in old-time jungle movies, quicksand is an example of this kind of suspension mixture. Quicksand is a soupy mixture of sand and water where the sand is literally floating on water. Move slowly in the mixture and the sand can slide past itself, but thrash around and move too fast and the sand particles will lock up and suck you down. If you ever do get caught in quicksand, relax. You will float and then you can gently swim to shore. Um, wow, great tip. So one thing that uh, she says like for add it fun if you have like little toys little trinkets you can actually dip them in there and you can watch it slowly sink down um, but yeah this is our activity for today you can see with williams his a little bit more solid Mom, and william donald any more corn stalks yeah well we're unfortunately we shared it between all of you guys and yeah you so added too much liquid i added too much water but as i said by tomorrow it'll dry out and we just add a little bit more water be reacti reactivated again um so yeah this is something you can store easily in a, in a little bit of tupperware and use it again and again all right i hope you enjoyed our video this is what the our family is up to today and we miss you all and hope you have a good afternoon bye guys this time guys don't edit me out of the video <laughs> <laughs>